In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create this kind of metallic shattering text effect. So go ahead and open up a new image by going to File New. And now grab your text or type tool, which is the giant T in your toolbox. And um, I'm using the font copper plate. And I'm going to be typing in all caps. And type out whatever you want. Um, and now I'm going to grab my move tool and just move my text wherever I want it to be. I'm just going to make my font a little smaller. And I don't like how kind of squished my text is, and I, um, so I'm going to just click and drag this top thing a little so that my text is a little taller. Um, you can do that if you'd like, but you don't have to. You don't even have to use the same um, font as me. And you can rotate your font however you want if you would like to, like I did in this preview image. I kind of rotated my text a bit, but you don't have to do that. And now what I'm going to do is apply a layer style. Now I already have it saved in here, so I'm just going to click on that layer style. Kind of gives it a metallic look, but um, double click on your font layer or your text layer to bring up your layer styles dialog. Now click, click on drop shadow, um, and I've set dis distance at zero, and then the rest are on the default settings. Click bevel and emboss, and um, everything is on the default except for gloss contour. Click that little drop down menu and select the second one in the second row that looks like that. Um, and click gradient overlay and choose the default black. We'll just leave it ha at however, except if you rotate your text, you're going to need to kind of rotate the angle of it a little. Um, now I didn't rotate my text, so I'm just going to set it at 90. Um, and then click stroke, and I'm just setting the size on one and color is on this grayish color um, the HTML notation is 3b 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 um, and then select OK now this is kind of similar to my other this effect is I think it's pretty much like exactly like my other um, metallic text tutorial that I've made a while back um, but now grab your polygonal lasso tool and if you don't have that you might need to right click on it um, and choose it because it might be the lasso tool or the magnetic lasso tool so um, click on that and what I'm going to be doing is just kind of creating a selection um, to make it appear like it's shattering so I'm going to click once and this is kind of random um, you can just kind of do what you think will look good Now you don't want to go too crazy with this or it might distort the text and you might not be able to see what it says. And now once you're done creating that selection, you just want to... Um, so now after you've created that selection, uh, you need to right click on your text layer and rasterize the layer. So just right click on it and select rasterize type. And now what you want to do is grab your move tool and click on the selection. And what I'm going to be doing is dragging the selection out a little so it's like this. Um, so just drag it out a little so that it's apart from the text. And I'm going, you can rotate a little if you want. I'm just going to rotate like that. And just drag it out like that. And then you can go ahead and select and then deselect. And now you have, but after you do that, you cannot go back in and change how it shatters unless you want to undo what you just did. Um, so it's just all on one layer now. Um, so yeah, that's the effect. Uh, so I like hope you like this tutorial. And um, uh, don't expect too many awesome tutorials from me for a while because I'm not sure if I'll be able to make as many longer, more complicated tutorials. But... Um, so I'm probably going to do a lot of text effect tutorials in the next few weeks.